Hello, Evan Rand here, and in today's episode on Farming Simulator 22, we are going to be looking at the roller in the game here. So the roller, everyone, is supposed to push down small rocks and give a slight increase on yield per the game. 5% uh, increase on yield. Uh, we're going to be testing that here this episode. Some folks say there's no increase. Some say it's 2.5%. The game says 5%. So we're going to find out, everyone. Uh, first things first, though, we need to prepare the field. And I've got quite the uh, battery of equipment here lined up for that purpose. Uh, we're going to attempt to go for the best yield possible here. We are going to mulch the field. Uh, stay tuned. I'm mean, going to plan on doing a video testing whether the mulchers increase your yield as well, by the way. So we are going to mulch the field. We are then going to plow the field. We also need to fertilize and lime this field, by the way. Uh, this should be only like a one time for the lime. Uh, fertilize, of course. Uh, then we are going to shallow cultivate, which should get us up to seed bed prep. And then finally, Evan, we're going to plant. Uh, so this is going to be our first time around. I'm not going to use the roller. It's going to be kind of like our base starting point here. We'll see what kind of yield we get without the roller. Then the next time around, Evan, we'll do the same thing. Roll it before planting. Uh, suppose it makes a difference, Evan, if you roll it before or after planting. So we're going to test that as well. Uh, next time around, Evan, we're going to roll it after planting. And then uh, for the third and final traveling, we're going to roll it before and after planting. Because supposedly that makes a difference too. So <laughs> we'll see who's right and who's wrong on this. Uh, so stay tuned, everyone. Let's get started here. I probably won't bother showing you folks much of the field work. We're, we'll probably just stick to doing that off camera here because it's going to take a few minutes here to mulch and plow and fertilize and lime and shallow cultivate and seed and uh, wait for it to grow and all that good stuff. So uh, stay tuned, everyone. Uh, I'm going to start on this here and we'll be back here. Probably once it's ready to harvest here for the first time around. And like I said, not going to be using the roller this time. Okay, well, and we're back here with a very nicely planted field, if I do say so myself here. Uh, we are 100% fertilized, limed, plowed, shallow, cultivated, and no weeds on the field. So we're going to let this uh, grow up, and then we'll see once what kind of yield we get off this. And after a lot of sleep and everyone, we got crops that are ready to harvest. Let's fire up the combine here. We'll start harvesting, see what kind of yield we get this around. Again, everyone, this is going to be our base yield here. No rolling at all on this crop. And we'll do our best to make sure we get everything that's on the field. Uh, again, I'm going to try to uh, as well when I plowed and fertilized and all that. I'm going to make sure we covered everything. That way we didn't you know, miss a little spot. And uh, that might uh, throw off our, our data here by just a little bit. I'm just going to throw a hard work on this. Looks like about uh, three passes. I'll probably have that. Uh, we're going to put the mulcher in right behind the combine here. So let's go grab our mulcher. And we'll start uh, mulching up the field. Let's see, there's the, uh, the mulchers over on the Massey Ferguson here, I do believe. The other, the other combine there, just <laughs> no idea what happened to the other combine over there. But no comment. And yes, I got a trailer parked up there. But, uh, the yield we get off the field here this time, I'm going to put that in that trailer. Oh boy. That is, uh, okay, now he's going to turn around. That was close. Okay, let's see what kind of a yield we're looking at here so far. So up to 2,000 liters. Well, probably, if I had to guess, it would be, what, about 3,500 or so, maybe 4,000. By the time we're done with this field. And again, I went on this next test here. I am going to roll the field before planting. 
and then we'll try it after planting as well. Again, I mean, there seems to be some debate uh, before plant and after plant, both. Does it even help at all? Hopefully gonna answer that here very, very shortly. At least not for you folks, anyway. It should be very, very shortly. For me, I want it might be a little more time because I'm gonna have to replant the field, fast forward some more time. And, well, you know, you know the drill, you know the drill. And then we'll put you folks through the entire replanting process here again. We're just gonna attempt to do it the same way we did last time and see what kind of results we get. Okay, and we are finished harvesting everyone. Our yield is 3,956 liters. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty that in the trailer here a minute. And then like I said, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and replant the field and I'll be back here. I'll probably be back and we'll probably do the rolling on camera and then we'll be back once it's ready to harvest here again. So again, that's 3,956 liters. Uh, plowed, shallow cultivated, mulched, fertilized, limed, of course. Uh, no weeds. So I would say that seems like a pretty decent yield. Okay, everyone, and we're uh, back here starting to uh, roll for the first time on the field here. So again, if we check the map here at this point, we're already at uh, seed bed level. However, I don't know, the rolling, everyone changed the texture. So now we're just different texture of seed bed. Uh, interestingly enough, everyone, it is not pushing the rocks into the ground. I'm not sure why it's not. If anyone could enlighten us on that one, we would like to know. Uh, as far as I know, the roller spool is supposed to push the small rocks into the ground. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are small rocks. I mean, I don't believe these are large rocks. Uh, sometimes it's a little hard to tell. You almost got to get out of the track and, like, get up a little closer to them. But pretty sure these are considered small rocks. Uh, they should be, anyway, because... We have not done any heavy tillage that would bring up large rocks to my knowledge. Let's double check. Yeah, those are, those are definitely all small rocks there. That kind of looks maybe a little large. Nah, pretty sure that's small rocks, yet. Yeah. Anyone, we're going to finish our roll in this field here. Looks like we finished uh, cultivating. Shouldn't take very long to roll. And then, we'll, of course, we'll go ahead and uh, plant the field. And we'll uh, come back here again, everyone, and figure out what kind of yield we got, if any difference at all. Hopefully we see a little bit of a difference in the yield. Otherwise, all this uh, work for nothing. Okay, and there we go. The field is fully rolled. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start planting the field here, and we'll uh, come back once it is time to harvest. Okay, everyone, and we're back for our second harvest here. Again, everyone, this time it has been rolled. Every other condition on the field here should be the same. So place your bets, everyone. Do you think we'll get a higher yield? Let's hope so. I mean, extra work, extra money on a roller, right? Let's see if this uh, roller will pay for itself. Probably not on this field. <laughs> Spoiler, Devin. No way a field this small is probably going to pay for itself. In fact, a field this small is not going to probably pay for any of the equipment we're running here at the moment. Okay, hired worker. Off you go. 3,950. Wow. Okay, look at that. Okay. 3,000. Let me write this number down. I'm on 3,959. Okay. So let's uh, let's look at these numbers here real quick. I mean, I'm actually kind of surprised by this here. So first harvest, everyone, 3,956 liters. 3,956 liters, right? This harvest, everyone, well, you can see the number down there. 3,000. 959 liters. I would say that's well within the margin of error for you know plus or minus between harvests. So the rolling on the field up this time around did absolutely nothing. 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 Now uh, we spent all the time rolling, we spent all the money on the roller, everyone. You know, test save game here, so it doesn't really matter, right? But uh, if you're playing this for real, nothing. Absolutely nothing, Evan. You got nothing for your work and rolling. Okay, so we'll be back again, Evan. We're going to replant the field here. Do the same thing, with the exception is we're going to roll after planting. So we're going to roll after planting here this time around. And we're back to planting here again. This time, Evan, as a reminder, we're going to be rolling after planting here. The uh, cultivator looks like it's just finishing up here. Just finished the uh, first pass there on the planting. We are uh, planting canola. I wanted to make note of one thing here, one. Uh, for some reason, I have now large rocks on the field. We have large rocks. I, I don't know why, everyone. I have not changed up our tillage practice. Again, everyone, plow, fertilize, shallow cultivate, 
And for some reason, this time around, everyone, we have large rocks. I, I don't know why that is. I'm kind of curious. Oh, and of course, how we mulched it here before uh, plowing. I don't think the mulching has anything to do with the rocks that I know of. But anyway, just wanted to uh, make note of that. Anyway, let's go grab the roller, everyone. We're going to start uh, rolling here behind the planter. Where's the... Ah, oh, there's the roller. The roller is over there. I wonder, everyone, if we should... Well, I don't know. We're going to roll right after planting, I guess. I, I was debating, everyone, like, should we wait a day before rolling? I don't know. No idea. And, of course, we're going to set this up with GPS here because I don't think we're going to be seeing any sort of texture change here that I know of. And, again, everyone, at least when it comes to the rocks here, those appear to be large rocks. So we're definitely not going to be affecting the rocks in any way, I don't believe. Get our width set. Yeah, okay, not quite that wide. Hard to back up with these here for some reason. Don't know why. I haven't quite mastered that yet. Oh, come on now. There we go. That's that's about what I was looking for. Yep, that'll work. Let's just get uh, some GPS set up here a minute. So Alt W, Control W. Perfect. I might even shift that line over just a little bit. Good. Just to make sure we don't miss anything. Okay, and we're rolling. Okay, everyone. So is there a texture change? Okay, very, very slightly. I don't know if folks can see it. The texture is changing there. Again, I mean, it's, it's so slight. I don't know if that's going to show up in video or not. Just slightly lighter if, it, if I'm looking at this correctly here. So, yeah, I'm going to think with that. Oh, and there's going to be a little pass of shame again. Oh, do you look at that little pass of shame here with the roller? Oh, well. Uh, anyway, I was about seven. I think we'll be back here. We'll pause the video here again, and we'll be back when it's time to harvest and see what kind of yield we get here this time around. Well, okay, well, and we're back for our third harvest here. Again, a reminder, this is the harvest where we rolled the field after planting. Uh, so for those of you who haven't seen it here, baseline yield, everyone, was 3,956 liters. So that was no rolling at all on the field. The harvest before this one, everyone, we rolled before planting. We got 3,959 liters. Uh, so, place your bets, Evan. What do you think we're going to get this time? And, oh, spoiler alert, Evan. I think that number down there looks pretty familiar. <laughs> uh, I could be wrong, Evan, but I think that's about the same number we got last time. So, uh, let's find out, Evan. We're almost to the end here. Almost to the end. We'll see what's what we get. Um, yeah, if this doesn't work, Evan, I'm not really sure here at this point what we can test. I was planning on maybe doing, like, before and after planting, Evan, but it didn't work before. It's not looking real good on the after here either, everyone. I, just looking at that number, I can see that already. It, it might be slight. Nah, I don't think that's going to be higher. Not looking good, everyone. 3,900. 3,009. Okay. It, it topped 4,000, everyone. 4,009. That's about 50 more than we got last time. So, 4... 4,009. That's only 50 more. 50 more liters, everyone. I don't know, that, that seems to me, Evan, that's within the margin of error for this field. Actually, you know what? There's a little stock. It's, it's <laughs> name of getting everything here, everyone. Okay. 3,000, or 4,010. I'm sorry, 4,010. Uh, I'll have to do the math on that, one. But uh, like I said, that does not sound like any sort of percentage yield increase, I don't believe. Okay, and I'm back, everyone. After uh, crunching the numbers here, I've got a one. 0.3% yield increase. So again, 1.3% yield increase, if I did the math correctly there. That one is not much. That is nowhere near the 5% the roller's supposed to give us here per the game help. Also, nowhere near the 2.5% other people have said. To me, I think that's probably still within the margin of error here for this field, give or take. Uh, I said that before, give or take like 50 liters. That's probably we're still within... You know, the variation on this uh, field here just you know, might have missed the slightest of spot before. Maybe, who knows, Evan. We did a slightly better job this time. So 1.3%. So, yeah, to be honest, Evan, I'm not entirely sure what to do next here. Because, uh, again, I was going to try rolling before and after planting. But there doesn't really seem like much benefit in doing that. Um, I guess we can try it, everyone, and see what's what we get. Well, everyone, we're back here again, this time for what I said was going to be the last and final test, hopefully. 
We rolled before planting and we rolled after planting. Uh, to be honest, Evan, I am not expecting much here. We'll see once what happens. Uh, if we get the results I'm expecting, which is a whole lot of nothing, by the way, uh, we are going to continue testing uh, either this video or I'm going to make it a part two. We'll see when. Oh, we missed planting a section here. Uh oh. I might throw off our numbers by uh, a little bit. I, again, I mean, if the roller's making a difference, we should see enough of it that that little section that missed getting planted there is not going to matter. And again, that's what I was saying here too before, you know, a few liters here, a few liters there. It's probably a section that got missed a little bit or something. Who knows? Very well possible. I did my best here not to, but it looks like I might have messed up on that one there a little bit. Okay. So anyway, we'll throw a hired worker on that. We're going to see once what happens here. I do have large rocks here on the field again, by the way. I'm still not sure where those came from because we started out having small rocks. Mind you, everyone, the roller was not pushing those small rocks back into the ground and making them disappear, but we had small rocks. Somewhere along the way, everyone, we ended up with large rocks. So, yeah. Oh, well. What is our yield going to look like here? So, a reminder, get them on. Our baseline yield was 3,956. Uh, our second yield that was rolling before planting was 3,959. Our third harvest where we rolled after was 4,009. Went up by 50 liters, but that's only 1.3% yield increase. I which, I don't know, if you ask me, is, whoa. <laughs> okay, well, look at that yield, everyone. Look at that yield. It is up. It is up a little bit. It's 3,959. Um, factor in that little small section we missed over there everyone it's probably right around 4,000 but we'll write it down as 3,959 so the yield is up it is not up by much uh, let me pull up the calculator here real quick I'm mean, gonna punch in these numbers so let's see what's here we got 3,000 got clear here there we go three that my clear the calculator no, I don't want to rate the app right now. Okay, 3,959. Let's see, divided by 3,056. Uh, that is not even a 1% yield increase, Evan. So not even 1%. Still, Evan, we are seeing like a 1% yield increase from what we were before. Uh, I don't know if that's any significance or not. Not sure on that one. Hmm. Well, at this point, I'm not entirely sure what to think, and our trailer apparently is full here. I'm thinking some more testing might be in order here, everyone, because from what I'm seeing, the roller, everyone, is not making any difference. Uh, what I might do off camera is I'm maybe going to run the test one more time, no rolling at all, just see once what the yield is, just to, again, make sure we go back down to our maybe 3,050. Because, again, before, everyone, we were averaging about 3,950. Uh, with the rolling, we're up by about 50 liters. Again, still not much, Evan, but we are up 50 liters. So, I'm maybe just going to test that here real quick, and I'll be back and let you folks know the results on that. Well, Evan, I just finished running the tests here again. So, again, Evan, I went ahead and did the harvest here, just our baseline, no rolling. And then I did the harvest here again with rolling after planting. Uh, one thing I want to make note of here, everyone, uh, between here, the game was updated. So uh, this is with the most recent patch to the game here as well. And with that patch comes the ability to see our yield percentage on the field. Uh, so uh, once the field is planted and growing, everyone, it'll tell you our extra yield, essentially. So uh, first things first, everyone, on the baseline, it was showing a 98% yield increase. So 98%. Uh, then on the second harvest, everyone, when I went and rolled the field after planting, it showed a 100% yield increase. Uh, I want you to remember those numbers, everyone. That's, uh, that is 2%, right? 98%. Uh, then uh, the next one was 100%. Uh, per the help menu, which by the way, interestingly enough, everyone on the help menu, they have now removed the percentages. Uh, previously, I used to say that it was a 5% increase for rolling. Uh, some of the other uh, literature here for the game is indicated 2.5%, by the way, which uh, would line up with what the info, the field info screen down in the bottom right corner indicates. Again, 98% and 100%. It doesn't indicate any like point. So probably 97.5%. 5% of them just rounded up to 98 presumably. I'm assuming that's what's going on there. 
So anyway, I mean, yes, got the uh, got the numbers in here again. I just wanted to make note of that there was the update to the game. So again, I mean, this is the most recent version of the game as well. So again, baseline, no rolling. Uh, we did the plowing, shallow cultivating, mulched the field, fertilized. Uh, again, when we plowed, so we didn't have to worry about the weeds, right? Uh, we got a yield of 3,960. And I did my best. I'm going to make sure I like didn't miss any spots this time around. I really like, we really like did uh, the best I could. I'm going to make sure like overlapping and cleaned up the corners and just, just made sure everything was like super good, right? Uh, so 3,960. And again, I'm going to per the field info. That was a yield boost of 98%. So again, by the way, it's 100% plus your yield bonus. So 198% yield, right? 198%. And then, like I said, I'm assuming that's rounded up. So 197.5%. So again, I got that harvested. 3,960 went on to the second harvest there. Again, I'm all the same. We mulched, we plowed, we shallow cultivated, fertilized. Well, okay, not quite that. Or we fertilized. Let's see. Fertilized was right after plowing, I believe, if I remember correctly. Got that all done. And then once planted, everyone, I went ahead and rolled the field. And again, same thing. I did my best to make sure I didn't miss any spots. We got 4,010. 4,010. Now, you folks do the math. That is a 1.2% yield increase. 1.2. 1 1.2 something. I think it was 1.25. It might have been. So literally half of what it's supposed to be. I want and half of what the L, the yield estimate showed. So again, I went first one it said 98%. This one it said it was gonna be 100 percent right? So additional two percent. We got 1.2%. 1.2%. Which all lines up with my other numbers here as well, by the way. So uh, at least for my test, Evan, we're getting basically a 1.2% yield increase from rolling. Um, at this point, I'm not sure what else to test. You folks can leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Did I do something wrong here? Uh, what would you folks like to see me test on this further? Um, I have seen some of the other videos of people testing this as well. One, they seem to be getting the two and a half percent. Um, based on my numbers, I mean, we're only getting 1.2%. So, and like I said, it, according to the help menu, it says it's supposed to be hundred percent, but we were not getting any two additional percent. That is for sure. So... I think with that one, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, again, we'll probably come back and revisit this at some point with some further tests. Now we just see once what uh, what kind of yield increases we can get here from the rolling. Because again, at least at this point, rolling does not seem to be worth it. I mean, 1.2% factor in the cost of the roller here and the time it takes to roll it. Uh, we have not had any success on the stones either, by the way. I want to make note of that as well. Of course, we got big rocks on the field at this point, so they're not going to work on the big rocks. But... Again, I mean, even when we had little stones on this field, it did not work with the little stones. So, it doesn't work with the stones. We're not getting the yield bonus we're supposed to. This is after the update, Evan. So, again, update. The game has been updated. Nothing. So, nothing. So, yeah, like I said, uh, looking forward to your folks' comments down below there. Let me know. And, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure we'll probably be coming back to revisit this topic fairly soon. So, with that, Evan, thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed all the uh, testing and numbers that went into this. Uh, this video definitely took several, several days to uh, make here. It, it takes a while, and even, the, you know, this small field to work it up and get it all done. So, again, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.